Welcome once again to Yardabelli's Kitchen. Today I am trying to coerce my wifey in doing a video with her famous uh, saltfish fritters or codfish fritters. Um, trust me, if you've had my wifey's codfish fritters, oh lord, mouth watering, tastes good, but not tell no lie. So, let's see if we can get her to start talking and telling us how she go about preparing her codfish fritters. Hey guys, Candy here, Yardy Betty's Kitchen. And like he said, I'm about to do one of my absolute favorite. It is called Sawfish Fritters or Stamp and Go. And um, I'm just simply going to start combining the ingredients. Hold on, let me just do this. First and foremost, we have scotch bonnet pepper here. We have some uh, tomatoes. We have onions, and we have green onions, our escalion. Then we have our codfish that we, uh, what did we do with this? We boiled it, boiled it. Yeah. and then we flaked it, you know, just boil it in water for um, maybe about 20 minutes to get the salt out, and then you flake it and you have it there. Then we have some uh, garlic, garlic salt. We have um, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper here. We have some seasoned salt. I got it right, right? Yes. <laughs> and we have black pepper, and we also have uh, baking powder. Over here we have um, flour, which is what about two cups? No, one and a half. One and a half cups of flour. We have, and then we have water. All right, which is um, that's so much two cups or what? No, it don't matter. It depends. It's okay. It's done based on need. Okay, so we're gonna be, you know, doing the mixing now, and you can see uh, as she, you know, prepares everything. All right. So go ahead, girl. Okay, this is about maybe less than a half quarter pound of salt fish. And it was the one with the bone in, but you can use the regular one without the bones, which is maybe better to work with. So I'm just putting that in the bowl. And I'm pretty much just going to add all the other ingredients. The scallion. Onion. Not the pepper. Mm -mm, the pepper is just a little bit too eager. We can't put the pepper in this way. We have to chop the pepper up like... Real fine. Real fine. As we're using original scotch bonnet peppers, folks, and trust me, when you talk about hot... Mm. Tomatoes. And I will add the pepper afterwards. The pepper has been chopped, so I'm going to just add that. It's a very tiny, maybe a quarter of a scotch bonnet pepper that I'm adding to the, the medley of goodness here. And before I add the water, I'm just going to add all the flour, which is a, half, a cup and a half of flour, like we mentioned earlier. And I'm going to add the water before I add the, um, the seasoning, because it usually gives me a guide as to, you know, how much of what I need to add based on the consistency of the mix. So add the water as needed and just mix, incorporate the mix. Okay, so we need way more water than that. It's not going to be doughy, it's going to be kind of runny or kind of liquidy, if almost, there's such a word. Almost like a, 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 a stiff pancake batter, right? Almost that consistency. Yes. You know, but not as not as, as fluffy as the pancake, but r relatively on that level. Yeah. And I don't like my flour to outdo the other ingredients. I like when the, uh, the dominant ingredients are the seasonings and the fish, you know? So the flavor is very, very what? Give me a culinary word. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're boring, remember? <clears throat> okay, so... I'm going to just do an estimate. I usually don't measure the baking powder. I just take a little, a tad bit like such, and just put it in. I think it wants a little more. You think so? Yeah. Hi. 
because I like my fritters when they pop up you know, nicely, you know. You know it seem it seem nuffer. Craving. Hallelujah. All right, so you see how easy that is, and I mean fritters is like it's good for so many things. It can be breakfast. It can be an appetizer for a fancy um, occasion. Like finger food, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, finger food. And it can be dinner. If you're like us, it, trust me, it can be dinner. The other day we had it with chickpeas salad and it was the bomb.com dinner. All right, so I'm going to proceed to add the other spices, some black pepper. And like I said, these things you just can add to based on your taste. There's no set rule as to how much, based on your preference. A little garlic salt, and actually I thought I was buying garlic powder when I picked this up, but hey, garlic salt it is, garlic salt for flavor. And a little bit of seasoned salt, not MSG, seasoned salt. And we use the, this, this salt to replace the regular salt, so now that we have added these things, there's absolutely no need to, to put um, you know, table salt in the, the mix or in the batter. So remember, folks, to be on guard for your salt content. And a tad bit of cayenne pepper. Even though we put the scotch bonnet pepper in, I like the color that the cayenne pepper gives to the mix. So I add a little bit of that. If I had paprika, I would put a little bit of that too, but hey. So with, you know, that being said, I just mix again to incorporate all the flavors. And I love the smell. And yeah. it's perfect. I smell the pepper. Hallelujah. No, this is all ready. And all you're going to do is just fry the butter. I think, why are we going to show them the finished product? Yeah, we're going to fry it. Okay, so we're going to fry up some and just make use of the opportunity. To but, eat it for folks, this can also be stored in your fridge. You know, put it in an airtight container and you can store it up for what, two weeks, about two weeks or so, so much. Mm. Yeah, know, maybe I think, a week yeah. in your yeah. fridge, and you can use it at your ledger. Just get some oil together, throw in something, and fry up some 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 um some uh, fritters. As you see, the the consistency is is somewhat like a, as I said, a stiff pancake, and you know pretty much what's gonna happen is once you you it hits the oil, you know it it comes together, and trust me, folks very very good very very good and what you do is you taste once you fry one you taste to see if it's, it has enough salt or it has enough seasoning and if it doesn't it's, it's okay to just go ahead and add more. Ready. and we are now gonna put our fritters in in the um, oil and ideally you want to just do very very small you know um, drops of butter and just let them fry. Once it's brown on all sides, then you know your fritters is ready. Once it puffs up, your fritters is ready. And that's good for, as, as was said before, the wife is said good for breakfast, it's good for appetizers, you know, um, afternoon eating. Like for me, it's good all day. Right round the clock. I shall be eating. So this is the fritters, ladies and gentlemen, and as you see, we just put them in a good amount of oil and cause, um, allow them to fry until they're brown on all sides. As you can see, you have to monitor them so that they don't burn quickly or stick or anything. If it was me cooking, I would have filled the pot with more fritters, but my wife says you have to be careful that make sure it's ready. Oh, you got the margin of the utility? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's one here. <laughs> You have to make sure that, you know, the oil don't get, cool, don't, don't um, soft, or uh, what you call it, cool down, you know, or you don't end up with, with more oil than fritters. You have to make sure everything runs smooth and nice. But, hey, that's my fritters. Um, that's the finishing up of the fritters butter. Is it nice, though? No? It might look, look very real nice. 
All right, we'll present a plate when everything is finished, and then, you know, you can also get a chance, well, hopefully you get a chance to try this in your neck of the woods. All right? Here we have the finished product, our saltfish, our codfish fritters, and trust me, I can't wait to dig into this one. Very, very nice, very, very easy, and as I said before, it's something that you need to try in your neck of the woods. Once again, continue to listen, continue to watch, continue to share, continue to subscribe. Yadi Belly in a foreign, selfish, fritters member, I told you.